All right, so welcome back. Where we left off in the last video, uh, we set up this button to actually update our Firebase database with our user. So the user that we're following, we're gonna be added to their uh, follower request uh, list here in Firebase. So what we have here is I requested to follow this user with this user ID. Um, this is my user ID and the information uh, about me, basically. So in this video, we'll, we'll be taken care of. We'll be adding on to that. So if the user is private, this will take place. But if the user is not, we'll just go ahead and add them to um, our following list. And that's actually another list that we have here that lets us know who we're following. So we also need to set up for myself that I am trying to follow this user. So this should be updated to include this user ID and a value of pending because the user hasn't accepted my follow request yet. So let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, so here we are in the follower request controller that we set up. And what we have here so far is we're getting our information and then we're adding ourselves to that user's uh, follow or request in Firebase. So another thing we need to do at this point is we need to be able to, or we need to um, add this user to our requested following. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go ahead just like before. Let's actually separate this. So I'm just going to add the user to my following list. Let's say list. You could probably think of a better, I guess, name for this, but you know, I'm having a hard time doing that, but whatever. Anyway, so what we're going to do is in our following list, we have both uh, a user ID and a status. So we're gonna go ahead and pass that to this method. It's going to be, the user's gonna be a string and that's going to be the user's ID. And we're gonna have another string that's going to be the status. And that's also going to be a string. And that's the pending or true. So if the user has a profile that isn't private, we can just go ahead and follow the user. If we do, then we need to set the pending to, well, the, the follow request to pending. And of course, later down the line in our feed, if as we go through our users, if the value is pending, then we won't display until we actually get the user to go ahead and accept us. So let's go ahead and take care of this. So the first thing we're gonna want to do, and we'll probably need to get, yeah, okay. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is create a reference to that place in our Firebase um, structure database. So my following, reference so this is a reference to the followings that I I have and it's going to be we're actually in this case we don't we're not passing a firebase database reference we can but we could just go ahead and get it I believe this way so we could do firebase database dot reference It's actually Firebase database that database that reference. Um, then we can do dot child. Um, and our following, I believe it's called dot child, and then my user ID. So I actually need that too. I'm getting it all here, and I guess I could pass it to this function instead of having to get it again. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, current user is going to be a type string. And I'm going to say that the child is going to be our current user. Right, so if I go back to Firebase really quickly, I see that 
in the database, I have a, a structure call following. And in there, I have my user ID. And that's kind of where we are. So now we're just going to add a value pair into this location of the user that we want to follow and then the status, right? So once I get this, what I want to do is just, I just want to my following reference dot update user and then a status. All right. So here we're just basically trying to add this user that we're going to pass in and then this status. So let's go ahead. So we updated the users information. So let's update ours. So I'm going to say add user. Um, the user is going to be the user we want to follow. The status is going to be pending. And then our current user is going to be the current user. All right, so let me make sure that that is, the pending is in the right. Okay, so it's lowercase. And you could do a zero or a one, that way you don't have to worry about cases or uh, spelling anything wrong. And let's just go ahead and say, get a var, let's get a weak var. Call it weak self equals self. Okay, so if anything happens, this doesn't actually cause any cycles. I don't think it will, but just to be safe. So weak self dot, well, okay. All right, so let's see if that works. So what I wanted it to happen is um, when we select again, nothing should happen. Um, this is just going to update the values if we try to request the user again. What I would say is that uh, maybe looking at when you're running your program, if the user has already been, uh, you've already requested to follow the user, then to make this like, I don't know, disabled, uh, the button disabled and say pending or something like that on it. Then not, I don't know if we'll look at that, but so I'm gonna try to follow new user, well, new request sent. Let's go to Firebase and see if we got what we needed. All right, so we did. So this is my user ID. This is the user I want to follow and it set the status to pending. So now I have this user um, that's a pending and you could do this either way. I'm sitting here thinking about it now. You could probably have folders underneath here that says users that we're following versus um, the users that are pending, but uh, it's up to you. It's up to you. Uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. In our next video, what we're going to do is we're going to want to, of course, modify uh, the user's profile to either be private or to be um, public and then use these, uh, what we just set up here to either get added to a list or to start following a user to add this user to our user list but with a true value so i hope this was helpful for you that <laughs> i hope this was helpful for you guys and um i'm going to uh see you in the next video bye